an Islamic foundation in Nigeria in furtherance of its religious obligations has empowered deserving members of its host communities. The body says this will help reduce the rate of unemployment in the country, reduce crime and eradicate poverty in the long term. New Central's Adishawa Odushoga has details. The economic situation in West Africa is dire. The effect is felt in food security and basic human needs, many of which were worsened by the post-pandemic era, bad governance and the Russia-Ukraine war. More than 25 million people in West Africa are unable to meet their basic food needs in the region, an increase of 34% compared to 2020. In the wake of these difficulties, an Islamic organization in Nigeria is seeking to end poverty through empowerment under a compulsory religious obligation known as zakat. In an effort to say that uh, even as Muslims, and you know, in some ways I know Muslims, we get to be able to rearrange and redistribute the wealth amongst the people. It's not just Nigeria. Nigeria is, you know, part Muslim, part you know, uh, non-Muslims in its distribution of uh, people uh, in faith. But there are many African countries that are not even non-Muslims at all. Giving zakat to empower, to establish, to support. Um, small business ventures to encourage um, individual self-independence will go a long way in reducing uh, vices, uh, restfulness of um, restiveness of um, our youth today. One of the beneficiaries of this program is the founder of a medical foundation that offers free medical outreach and scholarships to deserving students in the immediate community. It's going to go a long way because, for example, in, in December we gave out scholarship to undergraduate students. We give like 100,000 per student and uh, this one that we have given at least we are sure that we're going to be able to give scholarship this year for two students and then you know uh, so it's going to go a long way efforts like this to distribute wealth and wealth generating means in small communities like this one is expected to lift some part of the population above the poverty line and hopefully reduce crime to its barest minimum Adesha Waldu Shoga reporting for News Central.